I'm going to be real with you. I don't actually have a Saint Row game installed right now. So you know what? We're playing a Saint Row related zombie map because it's the closest thing I could find that I actually had installed on my PC. I'll fix that for next time, guys. So today I want to talk about Saint Row and kind of the state we're in. I feel like it's always good to give you guys a quick update on my current state of mind regarding like the future of the series, if there's been any hope for us or whether we are doomed inevitably. Spoiler alert, we are doomed. So first things first, sorry for no Saint Row content. I promise I haven't just like completely up and quit. I've just been trying to slow down how much I talk about Saint Row recently because burn it does kick in and I want to try and uh, be a bit more sparing and do a bunch of other content, which I will kind of talk about obviously during this video. So Saint Row, unfortunately, is in a bit of a rough spot, as you can imagine. Its creators are dead. Um, the people in charge of Saint Row are the people you could argue have killed it. And, to put it bluntly, the last title was so bad, a sequel sounds absolutely impossible. Combine that with the fact that Deep Silver don't see any profit in remaking the older games that people actually like, and I honest to god think that the best outcome we get is a Saint Row 4 remaster if we are lucky. How crazy is that? The Saint Row 4 remaster is the good ending. Now, I'm not just trying to be negative, I do genuinely have like common sense to back up what I'm saying here. People at DS themselves have said already that they just don't see the profit in remaking or remastering Saint Row 1 and 2. Stuff like music licenses would be really expensive for them and they just don't see any profit in it. And if that's how they feel, I'm not going to be out here disagreeing with it. They know business better than I do, just to be blunt. So I'll talk about what I can have a comment on, which is how will that affect us? To put it bluntly, the fact that we're not going to be getting a remake or a remaster of these old games um, puts us in a tricky spot because I don't also see us getting any future games. With the kind of reputation Saint Row has regarding it right now, I feel like if they make any sort of effort to make a new Saint Row game, especially in the new style, then it's just going to be met with immediate hate and criticism. Rightfully so, to a certain degree. But then on top of this, the other issue you have is who would they even ask to make this game? The studio that did Saint Row is gone. It's not that they can go... Oh man, we really messed up with the last Saint Row. Volition, can you guys go make like a different start? It's like, no, Volition cannot make Saint Row anymore. There isn't even a team behind it. And I think, honestly, that's the most scary part about us getting a new game. Um, you know, say what you want about Volition, whether you love them or hate them. They are the people behind Saint Row. They understand certain things about Saint Row and the way it has to be better than anyone. And it seems like a lot of the evidence does point towards... DS kind of stopping Volition from making the Saint Row game they wanted in Elements. And of course, I'm not pinning the blame entirely on Deep Silver here. I've been critical of both Volition and DS. But I do just want to say, like, the fact that Volition are gone, when it seems like at times they were the only ones really fighting for our best interests, it's a scary thought, just to say the least. And, you know, if they decide to actually get another team, especially a smaller team, on the next Saint Row game, the scale, the scope, and the certain design philosophies they have will not align with what Volition aimed for. Like, say what you want, Volition were always punching well above their weight, and that was something you have to just credit them for, whether you love them or hate them. They were always trying to do more than they can handle realistically, and that was both to their detriment and to our betterment. So, you know, when we get this new team that might go, uh, actually, no, I don't think we'll focus on customization quite as much, or, oh, uh, no, I don't think map diversity is really that important, uh, as people say, and, oh, I don't think the story needs to be as gangster as people say, or maybe they make it too far the one way and it's like the story's too serious, or the gameplay's too serious and focused on realism. Again, I'm not saying these are things that will happen. They're obviously very unlikely, but I'm just saying that these are the issues when you bring in a new team. And you're probably thinking, well, AJ, Deep Silver will just tell them what to make and how to make it good. Again, Deep Silver were doing this for Volition and look at what we got. We don't want them in charge of what Saint Row is. I honestly would rather risk it with a new team's design philosophies taking a crack at it than let Deep Silver have another go at it. Because to put it bluntly, Deep Silver messed up last time. Not hating on them, just being real. So like when it comes to making like a new Saint Row, we've got a new team that will have their own idea of making Saint Row. And then we have Deep Silver who have their idea of making Saint Row. And we know that Deep Silver Saint Row is not what the fans want. Sorry, but it's just being blunt. So our best hope is a possible new team and that's if they even decide to bring a new team in. Because I think, honestly, a very possible outcome is that they just shelf this IP. I think it's really, really possible that Deep Silver go, hang on, this isn't going to work for us. We're getting so much hate for when we release Saint Row games. They're not even making profit. The companies are going under. Is there any point to even making Saint Row anymore? And that's the problem we've got. AAA games are hard to fund. 
they take a lot of budget these days. And if Deep Silver don't see the, the real money in the IP anymore, they're not going to take that risk. And I'm not going to blame them for that. At the end of the day, they're a business. They have to survive. It makes sense to me. But what I am going to say is it doesn't look good for us. And that is the problem, really. At the end of the day, I don't really care how Deep Silver fares. Or I don't really care about how this new company is going to come and do it. I care about how we are going to benefit. Because to be honest, not only am I selfish, but we have been neglected for too long. We are not getting the Saint Row games we deserve. In quality, in tone, or even in general fan requests. We are never listened to. We are always lied to. And we never get anything that we actually deserve in a Saint Row title. And that is sad. I don't know what the hell is chasing me right now. Hold up, I need to kill this bitch. Fucking hell, that was scary. Is there more? Or just the one? I think we're okay. That's not, though, to be entirely negative, because I do think there are possible outcomes that might actually benefit us here. Because whilst I've spoken about some of the things that I don't think look great for us, and to be honest, I won't lie to you, okay? I'll try and be as honest as I can. I don't think some of these better outcomes are going to happen, but they are possibilities that could happen, if that makes sense. It's unlikely, but possible. The one possible outcome we could get is that Deep Silver go, man, Saint Row is too much effort and we're not making money. Let's sell this IP. Now, that would be a dream. Because to be honest, I would want Deep Silver to sell the IP to someone who actually will listen to fan requests and handle it well. That would be ideal. And I think that that would really be the best case scenario. If DS were to sell the IP and let people who kind of understand the market a bit better and the Saint Row IP a bit better handle it, I think that would be a W. I know that people at Volition have said that Deep Silver are definitely best suited to handling AA games, and I have to agree. Look at the issues with every game they release. Dead Island 2 took, what, 10 years of dev hell? How many teams did they go through? Saint Row, the less said about it, the better. It's just been like tragedy to tragedy here. So, you know, it's not a great, I won't lie. It doesn't seem like there's a great deal of hope for us, and that's kind of sad to say as a Saint Row fan. I've always felt like Saint Row had its place, and we always bounced back. But, you know, with no even team working on the games anymore, I just don't see any positive outcomes for us as a community. But again, I do think it's kind of likely that we'll see a Saint Row 4 remaster. Now, before everyone goes, AJ, what the hell, why are we getting Saint Row 4, not Saint Row 1 and 2? Understand that remastering those games is just harder, okay? They've already remastered Saint Row 3, and they're very similar games, and I believe that the Saint Row 3 remaster made profit. Um, and I can perhaps see them pushing for a Saint Row 4 remaster by the same team, in the same style. Now, I know people are kind of mixed on the Saint Row 3 Remaster. I'm on the side of it did improve the games in quite a few ways, even though it has a few caveats. And whilst perhaps I'm not the biggest fan of certain things about the Remaster, I'd probably end up playing the Remaster over the base game most days. So I think it's kind of possible that we'll see, like, maybe a Saint Row 4 Remaster, if we're lucky. Um, but as for, like, future Saint Row games, I just don't think it's all that likely. Again, I know it's not what people want to hear, and people want positivity and stuff, and I wish I could give it you. I really do. But to just be honest, I don't see it. To just kind of put it bluntly though, Saint Row is like stone dead. Like it's gone. And in a way, I feel like Saint Row is kind of past news now. And it sounds horrible to say that as a Saint Row YouTuber. But with no real optimism on the horizon and our best case being a remaster, which whilst I can see it happening, I wouldn't say is even likely. It's like possible. It's not looking good for us as a community. Volition didn't even add mod support to the Saint Row reboot, so it's not like we're going to get any new content. And sadly, the Saint Row modern community and, and Saint Row community in general is dwindling. To put it bluntly, we're a dying breed. And sadly, until we get some games that actually serve us and better our community, it's going to stay that way. This is why I haven't been covering Saint Row that much. It's not because I have it out for Saint Row, and it's not because I hate everything about Saint Row and want it to die. It's because, to put it bluntly... If I was to sit here talking about Saint Row, all I'm going to be doing is rehashing the fact that Saint Row is dead. Telling you a million ways about why it's going to stay dead and why we have no future. It's hard to make videos in a community when that is the general consensus. It's hard for me to sit here and be like, I can't wait to make a new Saint Row video, knowing that like, what we have is what we have. That's all the content we're probably ever going to get. And you know, it's sad. It, it really is, obviously. And... As I say, I'm not happy to say it, but I just want to be as blunt with you as possible. Our chances of getting a good Saint Row again is not likely. And our chances of getting any Saint Row again is about the same. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm sorry if this was a bit negative, but I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. Hopefully, there'll be a day where I can sit here and tell you some great news about Saint Row. But that day isn't today. 
until then, stay cool and uh, enjoy the games because I feel like that's the most important part.